this chipmunk has been kicking my backside in ways that I didn't even know was possible by a chipmunk to a human. It's mid-June here on the homestead. We are getting into harvest mode here. Been picking strawberries already out of the garden, but that chipmunk that I mentioned in this video up here is not caught yet. We've had the trap out there for over a week and haven't been able to catch anything. So we're moving on to step two. Morning everyone, welcome back to the Mindful Homestead. Jack here. It's been a few weeks since we set up that chipmunk trap on the other side of the house and it's been not so great as far as providing results. Chipmunk hasn't even touched the peanut butter and we still are losing strawberries in the garden. That's our strawberry patch right there. And that is a strawberry on the rock wall. We didn't pick that strawberry. It was put there by a chipmunk and then abandoned at some point. You know, I'll try to coexist with as many of the species around us as we can. You know, I don't shoot coyotes on our property. Anything breaking in the chicken coop only gets killed if it's eating eggs or chickens. Uh, if it's just breaking in to investigate, whatever, I don't care. But unfortunately for this chipmunk, it's eating strawberries, it's eating stuff in our garden. And I've just had it up to here, folks. Even the beauty of our garden as things bloom. Cannot suppress the rage that I have right now for these chipmunks. So some of you might have an idea what's coming next. I'm gonna go into the garage, I'm gonna get some five gallon buckets. I'm gonna get some wood scraps that I have left over from other projects. And we're gonna make some traps for these chipmunks. We're gonna show you how we do it. All right, buckets. Screws that you saw me sink in here do have a purpose. I'm not just making some Walking Dead type zombie melee weapon, I promise. That said, sinking those screws into the piece of wood that you used, I use two by fours. It really could be any wood. It could be an old pallet that you have kicking around. It could be a piece of shiplap. Really anything you have that will support the weight of a chipmunk is good to go on this project. But that's your only construction that you're gonna have to do. Everything else is totally tool free. Right, so here's all you need to do with these traps. We have our piece of wood with the two screws in the end. Those two screws are there so that we can hook this piece of wood right onto the end of the bucket and it's gonna sit there, it's not gonna come off. I'm gonna go grab the hose and we're gonna fill this bucket halfway to three quarters, exactly where you fill it is not important, but we're gonna fill this about halfway, three quarters up with water and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna put the bait in this trap and I'm gonna show you how it works. So we got the trap filled up with water. We've got our board placed. Now we're gonna grab the bait for this trap. And the bait that we're using is black oil sunflower seeds. So black oil sunflower seeds are kind of the key bait to this operation. And the reason for that is because they float. What we're gonna do is we're gonna pour enough of these black oil sunflower seeds into this bucket just to coat the top of the water. When the chipmunk comes up this board and sees the layer of sunflower seeds up at the top, it's gonna think it's a solid surface of sunflower seeds and it'll hop right in thinking it's in chipmunk heaven. What it doesn't know is that it's really jumping into a bucket full of water and it's not gonna be able to get out because it can't touch its feet to the ground and it doesn't have a solid surface to kind of push against to hop out. So we'll just take these sunflower seeds and put enough in to cover the top like that. 
And then you're just going to put a few sunflower seeds up here at the top as well. That way the chipmunk has some sort of bait that it thinks it's going towards. And that's it. That's all you have to do for this. So I put that bucket over by the chipmunk's burrow, which is the area I've kind of seen him most. I do have the materials for one more bucket trap, so I'm going to build that one out in the garden and hopefully get the chipmunk before he is able to take any more of our vegetables and fruit. So this is what we're dealing with here in the garden. You can see something's been digging in here. And then a lot of our strawberry plants that have had fruit on it look like this. Obviously this cannot continue. Let's set up the trap. So in a perfect world, here's how it works. Our little chipmunk friend smells the awesome sunflower seeds up here in the bucket and at the top of the ramp, and moseys along, climbs up the ramp, gets to the top, tries to get to the bucket of sunflower seeds that he thinks is below, and just jumps in. And then he can't get out. Normally I'm not the kind of person that's gung-ho on killing chipmunks. Usually if I'm not eating something, I won't kill it. However, in this case, we've been trying to capture the chipmunk for over a week now, like I mentioned, and it's still wrecking havoc on the garden. We're not into full harvest mode yet. It's really just the strawberries that are harvestable. So the last thing we want is once the garden really starts cranking to have chipmunks in here and have them eating everything that we've worked so hard to produce for ourselves. If this video was helpful for you, I'd appreciate you going down below and subscribing to the channel and giving this video a thumbs up as well. As always, thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye.